say it ain't so we might be saying goodbye to brian burns for today's video we got to figure this out man i'm tired of you know procrastinating over are we going to keep them are we going to cut them should we have traded them you know what type of bag is he seeking do he even be above tj watt uh boza miles garrett nobody should be above miles garrett i'm gonna tell you that now but the reports is constantly in flames you know two years ago the rams did wanted to give us uh two draft picks two first round draft picks at that now there's a lot of fans you know you got both sides you got one that want to trade him and he don't deserve not even 27 and then you got the fans that want to keep him because he's our only pass rush who else do we have right so here's my thing with brian burns he know he has a Carolina Panthers by the Joe Person, you know, I still dislike Joe Person. I don't like the reporters in, in Charlotte. But Joe Person, you know, when Matt Rule was there, when Scott Fitter was there, he, he had some legit questions, you know. He asked uh, the the heated questions that the fans would ask, the, the head coach, the general manager. So I did like that part of his career. But other than that, Joe Person, you know, I'm still not a fan of him, but Joe Person, you know, I'm going to read this off. He reported, and take these reporters with a grain of salt. Not all of them is accurate. A lot of them is getting um, inside information and believe what someone is telling them. So they're reporters, that's their career, you know, but take this with a grain of salt. He stated, the Panthers were willing to go as high as five years at $27 million a year for Brian Burns. Burns wanted a deal with an average of about 30 mil. So shout out to Brian Burns and I'm a Carolina Panther fan. I've been a Carolina Panther fan since I was 13. I've been seeing more down than up with the Carolina Panthers. Brian Burns is no idiot. He know he has them by the balls. He wants his money. And me as a fan, I can't tell him he don't deserve 30. But looking at Watt, looking at Boza, I believe Boza is getting 27. Correct me if correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But I'm not putting Brian Burns in front of Watt, in front of Boza, in front of Garrett. It's count is there's other names that I wouldn't put Brian Burns ahead of, but we're talking about the Carolina Panthers. So let's keep it PG-13. The Carolina Panthers is not a playoff team. The Carolina Panthers is known for walking away from guys that deserve an extension. Carolina Panthers is not a team that players desire to come to. Let's be all the way 100 with it. I'm very disappointed in the Carolina Panthers due to the fact that Scott Fitterer was a yes man. Scott Fitterer, you know, bowed down to temper every second of the day. I even dislike that the coaches, the general managers have to come and have a conversation with him every week. Just take, take a chill pill and chill, temper. Get your golden chair, sit back. And I'm, I'm sure fans is tired of saying let football heads do football things because you know nothing. You know, you have money involved in the Pittsburgh, but that's not to say you're in a, that book, coaching the guys on the field, learning, none of that. You weren't doing none of that. But Scott Federer was a yes man to him. The Rams offered two first round picks. He declined it. That prolonged into Brian Burns playing in, you know, he was under contract, so he had no choice. You give this man an extension when it's cheaper for the team. Now that he knows that y'all not giving him any help, even when y'all did, y'all let him walk out the door without an extension. He know his leverage. I'm not finna bash Brian Burns. He's been loyal to the team. He played through contract conversations. He did his thing. But for the Carolina Panthers... I don't know why I chose that team at the age of 13. Like, 
I couldn't be a Cowboy fan. I didn't like no, no California teams. So it's like, I wanted to be different. I wanted to be with a team, you know, that don't have a Super Bowl. So once we get it, I can brag about that. I don't want, I didn't want to be a Cowboy fan because they already had rings and their fans is very delusional. One of the worst, top three worst fan base of all time. I couldn't be no Cowboy fan, but for the Carolina Panthers, not to show other players that you're welcome to come to Carolina. We will treat you right. We'll make sure you will get your extension. We appreciate your efforts throughout the years, even being loyal to the team. Only player that I can say that we were loyal to was a few tackles back in the day. You know, most of them retired with the team. Didn't go nowhere else. Some of them we let go go play elsewhere. Then you had Luke Keekley. Injuries came. He had to retire. He had no choice. But other than that, we don't give guys extensions. We don't show them that we appreciate them. We don't do well in free agency. Um, we get guys at the back end of their career where they have either one or two years left. And that's pathetic. You know, I'd rather go trade for a guy when they're in their prime or draft well to where you ain't even got to do all that. We keep saying best player available, you know, when, when we're up on the clock. I haven't seen best player available since Luke Keekley. Carolina is in shambles. We're, we're a mess. We've been a mess for years. We don't have no direction or offense or defense. It's a pathetic team, but you are loyal when you stay with a team no matter what. There's times, you know, I don't like talking about leaving my team because I'm loyal to my team. I don't even like fans that have multiple teams. You're not a legit fan if you have multiple teams. And it just sucks that we're in this conversation with Brian Burns. We hadn't even came up with an extension for him. Um, last year, I believe we did. You know, I just read off Joe Person and what he believed that the Carolina Panthers came up with, which was 27 a year, five-year extension. I can't get mad at Brian Burns for not wanting that. You know, he believed he deserved that 30. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to move off of Brian Burns. I felt he was too light at his position. I felt we played him out of his position, and that's not his fault. You know, a lot of us have different body frames. Um, a lot of us can't pack on weight or muscle. He gained some weight. He, you know, he looked better than what he did from when he was a rookie. You know, he's coming to his own right now, but tackles are starting to understand, you know, he got the swim move. He can't really bull rush you. He do at times, but when he do, he go missing throughout the game. And I don't want to bash Brian Burns. Um... I appreciate every player that we ever drafted other than Kevin Benjamin, uh, Vernon Butler. But, you know, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But, you know, I appreciate the players that, you know, actually put in the work, effort throughout the years. Josh Norman, James Bradbury, Luke Keekley. The list goes on and on, but we want to hold on to players like Ian Thomas. What are we really talking about? We gave that man an extension. What have he done other than blocking, being an extra blocker? You know, we give in to the wrong players. I'm, I'm very disappointed in the Carolina Panthers. My heart hurt, man. My heart truly hurts. And Brian Burns is in a is in a corner right now because we have Derrick Brown coming up. We got Jeremy Chan. He's our Michael Parson. I have y'all opinion about Jeremy Chan, and it is what it is. We can go back and forth if you want to. Brian Burns is in the corner right now. You know, he's seeking 30. He, I don't believe we'll give him 30 due to the fact Derrick Brown is coming up. We got other extensions. We got other players, you know, coming and getting easy money. This is vacation for them. What do I want to do with Brian Burns if I have to answer that question? We should have moved off of Brian Burns two years ago if we wasn't going to extend him, period. Hopefully, you know, my thinking process with Brian Burns answered the question of should we keep him or should we cut him? I felt we should have moved off of him years ago. But that's my take on this Brian Burns uh, topic. And
reports is, is constantly coming out. You, you don't want to believe them because some fans want to keep them and, and build around them. But we got other players, and I'd rather keep Derek Brown. I'd rather keep both, to be honest. But we have a lot of dead money. That's where the money going to. So we really don't have money on the books to splurge around the free agency or resign players. We can, but we choose not to. I don't want to hear over the cap because of Saints, for example. That's another topic. But well, appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're a vet to the channel, like the content. Run them likes up. I, I need to feel appreciated, man. Like y'all appreciate my content. So like the content and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Keep pounding.